Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com, how to build PVC birdhouses. Today we're going to show you a couple of different designs, both full as well as horizontal PVC birdhouses. We're going to use scrap material from a recent deck project as well as some 4-inch PVC available at any local hardware store. Uh, the first step is just to use a, a marker and mark out uh, the size and shape of the PVC, how you're going to cut the roof angle, uh, as well as the length. And the length on these is strictly a personal preference. You can have a, a, a tall birdhouse or a short birdhouse. That's your choice. Cutting the PVC can be done either with a hand saw, a circular saw, or even a chop saw. However you want uh, to get that PVC cut to the proper size and with the proper angles. I'm going to use a grinder to sand away uh, the writing that's on, on the PVC just to give it a cleaner appearance. What's neat about uh, our method of building birdhouses is that we're just using silicone as the glue uh, to apply all the different parts. What I'm doing here is I cut a circle out of plastic and you could use tracks but I just had some additional white plastic scrap pieces around. I uh, traced the inside diameter of the PVC and cut it out with a jigsaw and I glued that in with silicone just to provide a large surface area so that I can glue the base which is also cut out of Trex. I pre-cut all the parts, the, the PVC as well as that internal uh, circle, uh, the floor a piece of Trex as well as the roof piece of Trex. In addition, I've cut the uh, entry hole for the bird just using a uh, speed bore, an inch and a quarter speed bore. I'm just pressing the body of the birdhouse uh, onto that uh, floor Trex. I've also drilled a smaller hole uh, that will be used to hold a wooden uh, peg uh, glued in place with silicone and that will become the perch for the bird. And then other neat part of this design is that there's very little work involved in building the actual body of the birdhouse uh, because we're using the PVC. Another great aspect of using these materials, uh, Trex, leftover plastic, as well as PVC, is that they are absolutely maintenance free. Uh, the roof piece, uh, glued on in the exact same method, we're going to apply a bead of silicone around the entire uh, diameter of the PVC and then I'm just going to press the Trex roof into place and you'll note that that roof piece is cut slightly larger than the diameter of the PVC. Uh, you want a little bit of an overhang so that the water runs off of the roof rather than into uh, the deburred house. You will have to let these uh, birdhouses or the silicone dry for several hours before you can hang the birdhouse in any tree or on any pole. For a horizontal birdhouse, uh, we're going to use the same materials, but in this case I've uh, sketched out the inside diameter of uh, the PVC and I cut out a piece of Trex, really just for the, the color, for the brown color. Um, I've drawn the location of where I want this Trex to be glued and I'm applying a bead of silicone glue uh, inside that PVC. One of the tricks of the trade that you can use is when you insert this Trex into position, you can hold it in position uh, either with tape or what I'm going to use is just a hot glue gun. And I'm going to put a couple of these just to hold that Trex in position while the silicone dries. And that's really it. It's as simple as a little silicone, cutting some pieces and putting them together. Please check us out on the web at www.diyeasycrafts.com. Be sure to check our other how-to videos. And please subscribe to this YouTube channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos.